What's up guys, today I'm going to turn my Destiny character into a literal tank. We will be showing off some of the new Warmind mods, the ones that allow you to collect Warmind cells and get a benefit. So starting off looking at this one right here, Sheltering Energy. Collecting a Warmind cell grants you an overshield. Now I really haven't shown off any of these type of mods on my channel yet, so what does it even mean to collect a Warmind cell? Well first you gotta spawn one in, then normally you can shoot it and it'll explode or do some effect. But what you can do is walk over it and pick it up, and that is what collecting a Warmind cell means. And this mod right here gives me a shield for 20 seconds when I pick one up which is very very good as is but it's not a normal over shield most over shields in this game are kind of like armor as it goes down you don't regen it back but this mod is the exact opposite it actually does regen during those 20 seconds so it's almost like having two health bars which is very very cool and way better than a normal over shield the only way for the shield to actually go away is if the timer runs out or if you break the over shield then it goes away also but as long as you have any amount of the over shield left it'll keep regening over that 20 seconds we also have this mod right here, Blessing of Rasputin. Collecting Warmind Cell increases the chance that your next final blow with a Seraph weapon creates a Warmind Cell. I play with this one quite a bit, and the odds of it actually working on the next final blow isn't that high. At best, it might be like 50-50, depending on which type of enemy you're shooting. But overall, it just doesn't proc enough for me to say it's useful. But the fact that you gotta spawn one in to collect it just to try spawning another one doesn't make too much sense to me unless you're doing a very specific collecting build. But outside of that, I don't think that's too useful. And we also have this one right here where once you collect a Warmind Cell, it will create a burst of chaining arc energy around you. So it's going to be a lot like arc web on top tree storm color. But once again, this one isn't that useful in my opinion also because of the fact that if you want to kill enemies nearby, just shoot the Warmind Cell instead of collecting it. But once again, this could be useful if you're doing a build where you collect these all the time. But I just don't really see too many viable builds where you actually collect Warmind Cells that often. This mod right here allows you to get your melee energy back when you collect a Warmind Cell. And this one is roughly like 50% of your melee energy. I think it would make more sense if it was your full melee charge back, but that is something to use. And finally, the last one that we have access to right now is you become charged with light when you pick up a Warmind Cell. And for this mod to work, you also need another mod that allows you to do something with the charge of light. For example, high energy fire or something like that. And once you have both of those mods on, you can then collect the Warmind Cell and you become charged with light times one. So looking at all the collecting Warmind Cells that we have available right now, the only one that is really good in my opinion and actually worth trading off not being able to shoot a Warmind Cell is going to be Sheltering Energy because of that 20 second over shield, which is very good and can regen, and that will keep you alive in a lot of situations that you might be dying in. Now onto the tankiest of tank builds I can make, we're going to start off with that mod we were just speaking of for that 20 second over shield. Then on top of that, every time we collect a Warmind Cell, we're going to use this mod so we become charged with like times one. And with that stack of charge of light, we're also going to use protective light, which was a mod from last season, which is once your shields are broken and you become red bar, you get significant damage resistance versus enemies, which is very good. So it pretty much only kicks in when you're red bar, which is when you're going to need it the most because you're close to dying. So it's very, very good. Then the next mod will be global reach. That way the effects of our Warmind cells have a greater radius. And finally, the last mod we're going to be using is going to be Warmind's protection, which is going to make enemies do a lot less damage if they're near Warmind cells. For this entire build to work, we also need a Seraph weapon to actually spawn in Warmind Cells. I'm going to use the sidearm. I might make a video about the sidearm. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. It's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But let me know if you guys want to see a video breaking down this sidearm. But anyways, the entire point of this build is the first Warmind Cell you get, you pick it up for the 20 second overshield. And after that, you leave the Warmind Cells on the ground. That way, all the enemies glow in orange do less damage to you. Then as the timer on your overshield expires, then you pick that one up and you rinse and repeat in kind of like a chain like effect where you leave one on the ground to get the protection then you pick it up when you need a new shield and it just kind of goes back and forth and if that wasn't already enough you also then get charged with light every single time you collect a warmind cell and if you do become red bar you're also going to get a lot more damage resistance so pretty much you're never going to die with this build in this gameplay i literally stand out in the open and try to die on purpose throughout this gameplay and i only had to panic super once because i got scared but outside of that i mean you physically can't die with this build it's literally overkill for most activities with the shield, you pretty much have double health at all times. Then with the Warmind Protection mod, the enemies near Warmind cells do a lot less damage to you. Then if you do become Red Bar, they also do less damage to you while Red Bar. So yeah, you pretty much have three health mechanics that are really, really strong. And having all three at once is definitely overkill for just like strikes and things like that. But for Master Nightfalls, Grandmaster Nightfalls, even raids, 
this could actually be a very good build for those type of things or just mixing in pieces of this build into your existing warmind builds is also a very good idea for example just using the shelter and energy for the 20 second overshield and some of my other warmind cell builds would be very very strong but if you want to be the tankiest guardian in the world definitely use all five of these mods and you probably will never die anyways that's me for my video a lot of my previous warmind cell videos were about using the war cells to explode and clearing out enemies so it's kind of fun to look at the other side of the spectrum and see what these mods can do in terms of just staying alive and not using them to kill things so that was the goal of today's video to show off the other things that these mods can do anyways let me know what you think about some of these mods which one are you going to be using or are you going to be using shelter and energy or do you use war protection anyways thanks for watching catch you guys next time